Well, the World Press Photo Exhibition shows in over 100 cities, reaching an audience of 4 million people each year. The award-winning photographs capture the very best in global photojournalism. And Auckland Rotary have again brought them to our shores. Rotary volunteer Geoffrey Stangle has been involved in the management of the exhibition here in Auckland since 2015. And he joins us now. Welcome, Geoffrey. Good morning, Mel. How are you? Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Great to have you here. Yeah, lovely to have you Can here. Can I say it's been an inspirational morning so far between the design and the weightlifting? I'm humbled. Can I say that? <laughs> and, and the smell's coming out. I know. There you go. Incredible. So you, pick, you picked a good day to be yeah. on the show. Absolutely. Um, has Rotary always been so passionate about, what, why is it so passionate about bringing this exhibition to New Zealand? We're passionate for a number of reasons, Mel, because I think it really what it does is it shares with Auckland, it shares with New Zealand, in fact, you know, just, just the humanity from right across the globe. And that's what the exhibit's really all about. And when I say humanity, I mean ranging from the good to the bad to the ugly. Mm. We see all sides of it. Yeah. And at times, you know, we kind of lose sight of that. We're here facing our, our first world problems. And you realize that, you know, most of the world is living through some tragedies. Uh, there's also incredible examples of, of humanity, of, yeah. of what brings out the best in us. And, the, and then the worst that comes out as well. And then on the side of that, you know, you've got the sporting events, which I absolutely love. We've got a great photograph this year for the sport, my absolute favorite. I've adopted rugby. Uh, oh, as nice. My, as oh, my good sport. work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, so this is more than just a photo exhibition. You know, it's, it's a, I hate to use the pun, but it's a snapshot of humanity really isn't it oh ab absolutely and I think what people take away from the exhibit and you've said already this is our ninth year of bringing mm. this to Auckland mm. which is incredible and it, what people take away is a variety of different emotions and, and having managed it for the last three years you see the range from from tears really mm. to to just elation and to smiles and 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 you know it just it's draining personally to me it's actually draining to, to right. sit through the exhibit yeah because you go through really... the, the whole range of emotions oh, no, things start running through your mind don't they you mm. know crazy so how does the exhibition actually work I mean how do people enter to be into it and um, how many are submitted this year there was a staggering I I pity the judges seventy three thousand photos from right around the wow. world wow and no. they can't be touched retouched can they no this no is no, one of the rules. no no mm. no can't be retouched of course no no photocropping is definitely out on, on these <laughs> but, you know, photos in this day and age with the uh, iPhone photo you can put a filter on that but, but yeah. from a hundred from uh, photojournalists from one hundred twenty five countries right around the world so that's pretty much touching every corner of the globe isn't yeah. it at this mm. point in time so and just you know the range of of, of of photographs. This is staggering. Well, who judges it? It's it's a panel of, of international experts right. uh, from right around the world. So so they sit down and, and they're circulated and they, they drill it down to the top uh, photographs that we're exhibiting again this year. So it's a, 130 photographs this year that we'll have on exhibition at Smith & Coy. And how can they be certain that they haven't been tweaked, the photos, when they're submitted? Is there sort of strict testing they undergo? Ethics. And ethics? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you're getting into technical areas beyond my competence. Because <laughs> we're a judge <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's a way that they can do that. Okay, right. well, well, let's take a look at some of the photos then. Let's start with the first one. Uh, this is, of course, nature. Tell me more about this. Nature is always one of the top categories, and, and this this is a, an elephant uh, reserve, wildlife reserve in northern Kenya. And here you've seen, you know, a lot of, of elephants uh, that have been rescued from the brink. This particular photograph is is a, a matriarch who is teaching these these two young cubs to actually bathe in dirt. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and the other photographs that go along with this story, th this is. Uh, in you know an area that uh, again that there was incredible poaching going on that many years ago so this is just really a resurgence of, of the elephant wildlife wow. in that particular area. The warriors who once feared elephants now protect them so that was first in the nature nice mm -hmm. so what about this next one here which is people. With people that's um, an amazing photo of these these young uh, Islamic young ladies who live in a very traditional uh, lifestyle in Correct me if I'm wrong, this is some in Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. I knew it was one of those Z countries in Zanzibar, who normally would have been discouraged uh, from swimming, from bathing, but in this one particular region, these young ladies are taught to swim in, in their full uh, garb, of course, mm. and, and just kind of breaking out of that, that cultural uh, It's a mode. great photo. It, it is a great photo. So what's the emotion that you think of when you see that photo straight away? What comes to your mind? Total relaxation and escape. Right. Okay, mm. good. Nice. Okay, okay so cool. what's about this next this next photo here, Jeffrey? Uh, 
my absolute favorite photo. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is titled, this is from the sporting category, of course, and this is titled the Steaming Scrum. I and love it. Yeah. It's from and, your and, adopted sport. And I asked my son who does play rugby, what exactly does that steam represent? Uh, <laughs> be up to the imagination. But, but <laughs> yeah. this is rising out of the center of the scrum. This is for the All Blacks Lions tour that was last year, and that photograph was taken by an Irish photographer nice. uh, in Hamilton. And the Lions won that too, I think. Yeah, that so you had to throw that out there, didn't you? But no. look, and look how high that steam is, though. That's oh, it's phenomenal. Incredible. Like when you see them, sometimes it comes off the players a little bit. But I've never seen it like that before. What a what a capture! Well, and, that, and that's you know one of the elements of, of the winning photographs in the exhibit is it's capturing that moment. So there's there's really two elements. There's the technical elements, but it's it's capturing the humanity. It's capturing the moment. And, mm. and, and the lighting and everything else. But, I mean, you look at that. You could never replicate that photo no. if you tried. Mm. And how many New Zealand photos have we had in the past? Have, have there been a few? There have been a few. Oh, cool. uh, okay, last, nice. last year, one of the win uh, category winners was, in fact, a New Zealand Brilliant. photographer. Yeah, unfortunately, well... In this case, uh, it, it was Irish an Irish <laughs> Yeah, that's all. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take, it was taken here. <laughs> Great photograph. You, you can't deny <laughs> yeah, true. that. Okay, yeah. next photo we're going to have a look at. This is a football woman and dogs uh, at Viva Columbia and uh, the sports second prize photo. So tell me more about this. This is this is a classic example of you know a storyline where these young women, not that many years ago, would have been carrying rifles. These are FARC rebels. Uh, who pretty much, you know, you know, Colombia was in a state of, uh, mm. of revolution for many, many years, and through, you know, the truce treaty that's in place right now, and and also government support, they've put down their rifles and they've picked up a so soccer ball. Wow. That's, that's incredible. It's an amazing story. And in black and white, that one actually really it works, does, doesn't it? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it yeah. takes just a little bit more. And this Sometimes final... Sometimes more, uh, less is actually more, isn't it, in this it case? It is. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. In this case, Carla. Um, let's take a look at this one. This is the World Press Photo of the Year. Mm. Uh, the Venezuela Crisis. Gosh, that's powerful. And how, yeah, that's incredibly powerful. And there's a good reason why this is the winning photograph of the year. So this young man was one of the protesters who got caught out uh, in the disturbances there, obviously got hit by some sort of petrol uh, bomb. And, you know, again, just, just capturing, capturing the moment. Uh, I have to tell you that, uh, that this young man survived. He had first and second degree burns I was ask you that. across his body. Yes, yeah. but certainly makes for a very dramatic photograph. You can't deny that. But, but there's a good reason why this is the winning photograph of yeah. the year. Well, a brilliant snapshot of what we can see. How many photos in total do we see at the exhibition? Uh, there's a, uh, approximately 130. Wow. And not only do are the photographs on exhibit, uh, again this year we're at Smith & Coey on the sixth floor, and those of you who haven't been up to the sixth floor, which is also in December, uh, the North Pole, uh, but it's now converted to the Smith to the uh, World Press Photo, that particular space is the old Lyceum, Women's Lyceum Theatre. So it's very historic. It's a beautiful space, beautiful hardwood floors, absolutely stunning. I encourage everyone. Actually, to it's attend. gorgeous. It's like another world up there. It's actually. another world. Yeah. It truly yeah. is another Get world. Up there. Yes, yeah. true. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Well, yes. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Jeff. They're incredible. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing many more of them. The World Press Photo Exhibition, presented by the Rotary Club of Auckland, yeah. runs from this Saturday until the 29th of July at Smith & Coe. Level 6, gallery space on Queen Street. You can check out the World Press Photo website for further details. Yeah, one of the highlights of the year.